Mmm, it's an orange juice. Yo, what's up everyone? It's OJ with a 20 win challenge. So far, I'm doing pretty good. I'm 17 wins at the challenge so far. I'm not going to talk about my losses, but we'll, we'll get into that another time. So, the thing that's cool about this is that the Clash Royale League challenge means that if you hit 20 wins, you have a chance to be drafted onto a pro team. If I could make a pro team, I would probably form one with Chief Pat, and I would call it Tribe Gaming. I think... Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that sounds like a good idea. So, I'm at 17-2 with this Sparky deck. That's right, the Sparky deck's gotten me pretty far. Some cool things about this is... It was really inspired by the YouTuber challenge. That other Sparky deck was really good. Giant and Sparky really kind of like put everything together. So, one of the greatest synergies in this deck is having the Giant protect the Sparky. And then if you can combo a Dark Prince and Mega Minion with all of these four things together, they can't plant down an E-Wiz. It's going to die immediately to the Dark Prince. You can't put, put down any anti-air or any air because you've got the anti-air Mega Minion. You have some bats if they don't have Zap. And you've got the Elixir Collector. It's kind of like a rocket bait. Or, you know, if they don't have rocket, it's going to be some sweet positive Elixir trades. Before I show you guys the Sparky deck in action, I want to talk about Guild of Heroes. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. You can actually download this game on iOS, Android, and the Amazon store for free down in the link in the description below. You're going to get a super gift using that link in the description below. A lot of you guys don't know this, but I actually have a tattoo of Diablo 2 and may not realize is that that was probably one of the first games that started me on the path of gaming. But this is really cool. Checking this out, I have the mage right now and you can actually switch which classes you want. So I'm going to switch to the warrior. I'm I, I'm at the mage, but now I'm the warrior and I'm going to be really, really beefy. Let's check this out. This one's going to just smash everyone. The second skill, which is a smite. Using my shield to just smash all the enemies. And then for the third one, it gives me more move speed, a lot more move speed, a lot more armor and a little bit more attack speed. I'm just moving everywhere right now. And then the fourth one is going to be a whirlwind that pairs the third one really, really nicely. Now for my fifth skill, it's got this really fast charge. Kind of like a bandit, except obnoxiously fast. All right, so we're at the boss battle. Look at that. I'm just going to run in circles for him. Or maybe just wreck him just like that. All right, so looking at all of that loot, look at that. I have some runes. Take all that. This reminds me so much of Diablo, the health bar and everything. Here's another level. It's like completely different levels from everything. If you guys are into RPGs, like classic RPGs, I played Diablo 1, Diablo 2, and I got super addicted to it. In fact, I loved Diablo 2 so much that I didn't want to play Diablo 3 because I knew that it was going to consume my life. So there is PvP in here as well. Let's find some chumps that we can just destroy right now. Watch yourself, double A. OJ's here. All right, just activating everything. I've got my shield going on. I've got this absurd amount of speed right now. And just like that, uh. Again, if you want to download this game, it's available on iOS, Android, and the Amazon store. Link in the description down below to get your super gift today. All right. I don't know why I do this to myself. I'm 17-2 right now. Still better than Woody. He's still only at 16. At least I hit 21, so even if I don't win this one, I, I just wanted to show you guys this deck. It really is good. I I had some bad losses, like some misplays, and it was just absurd. Those two losses. It's like when those 3K players, they they rush you with like E-Barbs, Rage, and Lumberjack right at the very beginning, and you, you just don't have anything to counter it, and it's just your tower. <laughs> That's another story. Whatever. I just sucked that game. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna start off with a giant in the back. Okay, he's got a miner. I'm gonna deal with that chip damage. I'm gonna deal with that chip damage because I'm gonna go in hard. I'm gonna go in with Dark Prince. Ooh. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna cycle to my Sparky then. Let's see how he can handle this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Those zappies. This. This, this is scary. One hit. Okay. Sparky got a shot on the P.E.K.K.A. I hate this. I hate being 17 to you. I'm, I'm going to pump up. He's going to poison. He's going to deal a thousand damage to my tower. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. 
No, it's okay. This deck is really good at countering the P.E.K.K.A. Zappy's Goblin Hut deck. He's gonna do go for a P.E.K.K.A. again. This time I'm gonna go for the Dark Prince. I've got a tad bit more Elixir this time. Still waiting for that P.E.K.K.A. there. There it is. Where are them Zappies at? Maybe don't even need them Zappies. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna zap that. <laughs> well, the zappies with one health wins this interaction. I can't I can't afford I can't afford to take any chip damage right now, so I've gotta put my giant down. This is Absurd, he's got the Miner, he's not even going to play the Miner! He doesn't need to play the Miner! Oh my goodness, oh my, oh my... Seventeen two, and this is how it ends. This is absurd. I can usually beat this deck. Man. We're gonna zap that. Okay. Now we can protect the Sparky. Again, we're gonna go in and poison. I missed the poison, I missed the poison. That's how you're supposed to play the Sparkies. Or, that's how you're supposed to play the P.E.K.K.A. You're supposed to put it on top the Sparky, not the Giant. So, this guy is wrecking me. Why did I have to be 17 too? I hate this game. I hate this challenge. This, this is the only challenge in the entire game that really tilts me. He's he's a poison away. He's a poison and a miner away. Not even. He's one poison away. I, it's go big or go home. He's gonna cycle to his poison. He's gonna do everything he can to stop the Sparky. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go really big. Can't really go really big when that Pekka is there. This is absurd. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Even though that giant is there, he doesn't care because he's just cycling to his poison. Oh, I hate... I just... Mm. That's it. This video is off to a bad start. I couldn't even get the legendary chest. Not even the legendary chest. Man, oh man. Well, I'm just gonna hop into some magic to show you guys how this deck actually works. It's not... It's because I took too much damage in the beginning when I pumped up. And I didn't pump up anymore after because I I didn't want to take any more chip damage. She has minor and poison. I should have put the pump in the center. That way... It would be a lot harder for the minor. We're not going to worry about that Musketeer too much. Okay, yep. Yeah. We're going to have to worry about that Musketeer now. I meant to zap a little bit earlier than my Mega Minion would have turned around and hit that baby dragon. But that's alright. We're going to go in for... A Sparky push. Oh! Alright, we're going to... We're going to clear the pathway for Sparky now. Got some bats going on. Absorb everything with the giant. Musketeer's gonna die. What? Okay. I had to do a Dark Prince for that. I, I wasn't expecting a graveyard out of nowhere, but this is kind of the time to pump up. We're gonna let that Dark Prince do whatever. He can't really scar me it, because he's got 360 splash when he charges. He's got Fireball, so I definitely don't want to put it in the center. Always going for the Fireball. That's okay. We're going to go in for the really big Sparky. This is really a 20 win deck. It feels really good. 
It's really solid against everything. Against the P.E.K.K.A. you've got... The Sparky, you've got the Dark Prince to tank for the P.E.K.K.A. Against Lava Hound, you have Mega Minion, you have Bats, you have Zap for the Pups, you have Poison for the Pups. <laughs> We're just gonna completely ignore that, um... Lava Hound, I guess? Well, not completely, but let's poison those guys out. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! Sparky takes out the Witch! I love it! I'm not even gonna acknowledge that Lava Hound. We're gonna go in for a really big push right now. Graveyard Lava Hound. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. We've got Giant. We've got Dark Prince. And it's going to be a three crown just like that. It's kind of a strange game. Let's, let's play a few more. It, it, it didn't feel quite right. But man, that 17 win game. That should not have happened. I've got a really good starting hand right now. The Elixir Collector. Definitely in the center. Let's hope they have Miner. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for your Miner. All right. I don't know how I feel about Fireball on just the Elixir Collector in the very beginning. It's kind of good for me because now I can put down all my things without worrying about it getting Fireballed. Let's put the Sparky in the front. I just realized he's level eight. We're gonna end this quick. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Level 3 Prince. I didn't even need that Mega Minion because that Mega Minion is not strong enough to finish off this game. We're just gonna go in with another Elixir Collector. I mean, it's nice that it's three tries. Ah! I don't have anti-air. We'll, we'll let him take my tower. We'll let him take my Elixir Collector with my tower. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That was a negative elixir trade. That was a very, very negative elixir trade right there. Death damage on my elixir collector takes out like three elixir from there. That was a negative, negative trade. I, oh, okay. He's going with the fireball. We're just gonna stack up things now because he is down a little bit of elixir. Zap those minions so that my bats one shot everything. Clears everything. Oh wow. Those bats are so value right now. They took out the Skarmy, they took out the Minion Horde. Given that the Skarmy was only level 7, so it was a little underleveled. It's locked onto my Dark Prince, so that was perfect because that shield just gets interrupted by the Inferno Dragon, so we're just gonna go for the three crown mercy kill right there. Kokosu. Alright, this is an interesting starting hand. I have... I can start with Mega Minion or the Giant. Let's go with the Giant. Still no Elixir Collector. Okay. I've got Sparky for the Golem. I like it. Sparky for the Golem. He's, he's going a little aggressive there, so I, I'm not gonna... Oh, what? deal with that. Yeah, nobody's in the bomb range. Everybody's happy. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's poison the princess, poison the dark witch. Her bats die, the princess dies. Mega Minion tanks for the tower. Sparky hits the tower. I love that connection. Two hits. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. This deck is absurd. I love it. Let's go with Elixir Collector now. Now that everything's settled down, it was kind of strange to go Golem very first hand. If I had a um, minor chip deck, he would have gotten wrecked a little bit more aggressively. Maybe a little bit less. Who knows? But, whoops. That was a little twitchy. I didn't mean to put down my Sparky, but we're going to flow with it. We're going to let him flow that Witch on the right side. Sparky, you're scaring me. Oh yeah, let's put the giant on top of the on top of the bomb. Baby dragon splashes on 
for that little spark. Let's go for that three crown. We have the elixir collector. We've got a slight elixir advantage. A little poison there. Take out all those bats. I don't want to deal with uh, Zap. Okay. A couple more hits. Now it's within poison range. Cycle back to my Dark Prince. Put down the Elixir Collector in the center to send a message. He's got Golem there. It doesn't matter. We're just going to poison there. And then zap that really quickly. Send a message for that 3 crown. This back to back to back to back to back to back 3 crown deck. I love it. I wonder if you could hit 20 wins within 20 minutes. Nah. Really good starting hand here. I hope it's a P.E.K.K.A. Princess, princess, princess. Okay, that's perfect. Because now I can actually use my Sparky. Let's make it a little bit more aggressive, actually. Sparky's gonna lock onto the princess. Gonna wreck the princess. We don't have Zap. That's a little unlucky. So, I'm gonna have to use the bats. Oh dear. Oh dear. That was a good Electro Wizard. So he's got Rocket. We've got to keep baiting with those Rockets. I'm down a little bit of Elixir. I, I wish I had Zap for those bats. He's going for that chip damage. I'll take it. I don't have a choice. Okay. We can do this. Mega Minion takes out the Princess, now he's got to defend it. If I get at least one hit on the Ice Wizard, that's fine. I can deal with it. Let's put the Giant there. At least he gets slowed by the Ice Wizard, so that kind of like buys me time to build up stuff behind it. Oh no, he's got a Mini P.E.K.K.A. And we're going to protect the Giant with the Dark Prince. This time we got, we got Zap. Oh my goodness, that that e -whiz is so obnoxious. Princess takes out my bats. This is a good game. Got this. All right, he's got he's got rockets. So. Rocket my tower or rocket the elixir collector. 49 seconds left. He's not worried. He's not worried at all. Alright, so we're going to go into the giant in the back. Then I'm going to put it on the sparky. This is double elixir we're talking about. So now I'm going to start stacking everything up. He missed this tornado. Oh! He missed this tornado. That's, that's a big one. Everything just disintegrates there. Rocket missed the Sparky. Rocket missed the Sparky. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. The Rocket missed the Sparky. This is where everything shines. Okay. 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 This is how we come back. We shouldn't have won that game. He chief padded me. It, w it was as... I, I, I don't know. Alright, so this deck has a lot of potential. The Sparky, there's so many nice synergies in this. Get four of these going. Don't stack the bats with the Sparky if you know they have Zap. Use that as bait, spell bait, or anything else. If they don't have bait, even better. It's a positive trade every single time. Build up those four and you're going to be good to go. I could have used Prediction Poison a little bit better, but... It was still really good, especially in this meta when they have Flying Machine, they have Zappies, they have Goblin Hut. It's kind of good to stack up everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Good luck in the 20 win challenges.